back, it's just time to continue the adventure. In the next room, I found another golden key. The golden key was above the chair, so I had to climb on top of the chair and then reach for the key that was high up. I needed that key to unlock the next door. The next door has some kind of a treasure behind it and we could not unlock the door without the key. So I went on top of the chair, picked up the golden key, and now it was time to get into another room to see what the treasure was. Upon opening the room, I saw that the room was full of artifacts. Ancient, ancient artifacts with a lot of work, a lot of gold, a lot of cool stuff. So I decided to play around with it all a bit. Oh boy. I saw a cool suit of armor and decided to wear it. I looked so good in it and I also picked up a sword. The sword was a little bit weird and suddenly the sword seemed like it had the mind of its own. It started floating about. It was quite dangerous. I didn't know what to do. The sword was turning and going around floating about and then he decided to attack me. It went full speed right at me, but thankfully it missed, just by a bit. It landed right next to my head inside the wooden door. It got stuck there, so I was finally free to go forward. It was too dangerous in this room and I didn't find any magical shards, so I went forward. Opened the door and I was back at the hole with a big chandelier. We were already here in the previous adventure, if you remember. But now some other thing has happened. Upon going through the hole, the ghost appeared again. He tried to play a trick on me and he decided to break the chandelier. He decided to play with the chandelier and that was a very dangerous thing to do. While I was beneath the chandelier, the ghost managed to break it and it started falling right behind me. Oh, it almost got me. It was such a dangerous thing. But thankfully the chandelier broke but it didn't hit me. It was such a relief that it didn't hit me. There were so many shards on the floor from the chandelier and I was so scared at the time. It took some time for the chandelier to stop breaking, meaning all the shards falling on the floor next to me. There was so much glass on the floor from the chandelier. Ghost in the meantime disappeared, he just went there to break the chandelier, which he succeeded at, and then ran away. Something very good happened in the end from this terrible and dangerous thing that occurred. Amongst all the glass on the floor, there was also a magical shard, which was another shard that I needed to put the magical mirror together in order to get to back to my world. I was quite lucky here.